This is Steve. And this is Sean. Welcome to Acromedia's High Five. So Steve, what are we going to talk about? We're going to be talking about shipping and commerce.x, something that I know you're very proud of because oh. you architected it. <laughs> You're very jealous of, apparently, <laughs> I am. too. Yes, I, I did architect myself the point of sale, but you know, you, shipping apparently is more important than a point of sale, so we'll talk about that instead. You architected the point of sale. I didn't know that either. Yes, with the help of Ted Wong and Matt Ferguson. I heard you also maintain a module. I do, both yeah. the wish list module and the offline payments module. Mm -hmm. uh, did you know that your offline payments module is no longer needed in Commerce 2? <laughs> it is deprecated, <laughs> correct. <laughs> would you like to talk about shipping, sir? I would. Okay as we previously discussed. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just talk about what we can do for shipping in Commerce One? Yes, you can get shipping rates. What about if I want like to receive the item I purchased? Nope. What about if I want to, if I work in the warehouse and I want to put the item in a box? We recommend that you integrate. So I can know <laughs> what it costs and that's sort of it. Truthfully, yes, actually. That is the limitation of Commerce One. Uh, you were pretty much forced to integrate. Otherwise, you were more or less just a storefront. And that's the mm -hmm. biggest improvement to two. Because mm -hmm. to actually give you some props, you actually have architected it so it can actually go from rate all mm -hmm. the way down to actually getting your shipment. Mm -hmm. We realized we had shipping, and shipping wasn't really anything other than getting rates, which is actually one of the sort of easiest and simplest parts of shipping. And, and if you have free shipping, that's not even a step for you. You just say free shipping and, and you don't care. It's all the stuff of, okay, you've purchased the product. How does it actually get to you? Mm -hmm. Which actually involves quite a lot of steps uh, outside the rate. You need to print off labels to put on your packages. You know, you can't just, you know, write them on with a felt marker like you were sending, you know, Christmas presents to grandma or something. You have, you know, and if you get labels printed, they have to work for UPS or they have to work for FedEx. They have to be specific. They have to have barcodes generated on them. Um, you know, they have to match certain parameters so that they'll scan correctly. If they don't scan, you get charged extra fees. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a thing that not only does it save you time, but it'll actually save you money as well that you would be charged from vendors. There's that. There's what, do you, what boxes do you put stuff in? What goes in what box? Mm -hmm. You know, what gets shipped out from what location? Maybe you don't ship everything out from one location. How do you track what goes from there? That's actually two separate shipments. You know, we didn't really have the concept of that anything could have more than one shipment or rate. Mm -hmm. in commerce. There, uh, there was some of this stuff was done with Contrib and a lot of the work in 2.x comes from various Contrib efforts that have then been consolidated together and used to make a nice um, shipments API mm -hmm. that handles uh, not just shipping rates but all of shipments all the way across. To, you know, it handles uh, calculating duties, mm -hmm. and, uh, putting things into boxes, handling returns back into stock, all that kind of thing. Yeah, it is, it is quite impressive to be totally honest and, and from what I understand too, you've even gone down the line of actually figuring out the box size due to things that are stackable or not stackable and, and such. Yeah, so everything has a plugin interface now which is a, a new bit of functionality that you can do within Drupal 8 and so that means all these steps you can have different options so you can basically have a packing algorithm and so that can be really, really simple. It can be everything goes in a box and the box is sort of this... Um, theoretical box of infinite size, right? And so it just says everything goes in one box and then you find a box. Two, it can get much more complicated to say, you know, these things can get packed with this and these things can't get packed and these things, they're chairs so they stack like this or they're cups so they stack differently or, you know, they're boxes so they don't stack the same way. They, they add on space and you can have all these different algorithms and, and decisions and you can use some that are built in or you can always build your own but you can use everything else that comes out of the box and you can just insert one piece you need or you can start replacing you know whole sections and in terms of getting the rates uh from what i understand you can you can do you know you can do your own calculations your own algorithms but you can also integrate pretty easily too yeah, and, and that's rates and that's all the steps along the way. Mm. So that's getting rates, that's printing labels, that's doing packing slips, that's even doing the boxing algorithms and stuff like that. Um, you can do that all your own or like what comes from commerce or you can replace any or all of those parts with providers, whether that's directly with someone like FedEx or UPS or that's with some sort of sh third party shipping provider that maybe handles the packaging and the boxing and stuff like that for you or maybe you do fulfillment through Amazon or something like that. Um, it lets you, you add in And do we have an integration with Amazon and, and, and Walmart and places like that? Um, we do Amazon uh, for fulfillment. I don't think that module is completely ready yet, mm -hmm. um, but we will have a, a full integration for Amazon fulfillment. Um, Walmart and stuff in the works, uh, like planned, mm -hmm. um, doesn't exist yet. Okay. Um, What's the too long didn't read? 
Shipping now covers the whole flow of shipping, actually from ordering to having the package arrive at your house, obviously aside from actually driving it there. Huge improvement from Commerce One. Yeah, which just gave you the rates. If you'd like to see more videos, subscribe below. If you have any questions or comments, do so below as well. If you'd like, you can follow us on Facebook, you can read our blog at acromedia.com, and you can follow me on Twitter.